everyone. This is Not From This World. It's been a while since I did a tutorial, so I thought I would um, make one here really quick and uh, show you how I organize my DAS Studio so I can more quickly find things that I need and uh, kind of show you how to make folders within DAS Studio. Now, one of the things that you want to uh, do is make sure that you are here in your content library. And from your content library, you're gonna have these folders that I have up here in the upper left. Now, um, when you buy stuff from Daz Studio, your products are gonna be in the product folder and so see, I just opened it up and you can see they have an alphabetical list of products that you've purchased. So for example, if I go to A here and uh, I look at the sub folders, uh, all of these different props, characters, etc., are ones that I have purchased or uh, downloaded from Daz Studio. So I can click on them and then they'll pop up like here's this um, kind of dome shaped building. Now for content that you have manually installed, it's not going to be in this product folder where the Daz Studio stuff is. It's going to be up here in either your Daz Studio format folder or your poser format um, folder. So for example, if I click on the Daz Studio format folder, I can open up my um, Daz Studio library and I've got all of these uh, things that I've manually installed. So for example, like uh, if I click on people, um, I've got lots of uh, props in here, Genesis 8 female, um, and I can click on, let's say, characters. And here are some of the Daz characters that are actually in the other alphabetical folder, but it's going to have others that uh, I have manually installed. So um, this is another way to find your content. Uh, same thing with the poser folder. So if you go to this poser folder, this is all of these things that I have um, downloaded manually from other sites other than Daz. And so, uh, for example, there's the skull here. And if I wanted to move this skull somewhere else, I'm going to have to find it and uh, categorize it the way that I'd like. Now, this is nice because it's all in alphabetical order. So if you know your um, prop that you want to use, you can just go to it in these folders. However, being organized alphabetically is not really the easiest way to um, find material, I would say. So what I have done is I have made different categories and you can go into uh, this category folder and uh, you can create your own category. So for example, I use Genesis 8 female a lot for my characters and my comics. So I created a Genesis 8 female folder and the way that I do that is you go up to categories and you right click on it and it says you can create a category path. Hit that and then it'll ask you to name it. So I'm just going to give you an example here. So I'll name this test folder then I'll hit OK. And you'll see that test folder should pop up in my categories. Let's refresh it. Okay. 
Okay, so see, now you can see that the folder I just created is right here. So let me just show that to you again. Right click on categories, go to create category path, and then create your folder. Hit OK. And then you're going to have to go back in here and refresh it. And then you'll see your test folder. Now, if I want to put something in this test folder, let's say I've got a uh, product that I like. Um, I'll just pick something randomly. Let's go to test folder E here. All right. So let's say, um, you know, I've got this Egyptian outfit and I want to put that into a different folder so I can organize things. The way that I do that is actually really simple. I right click on the prop that I want to move. I go to create a category from and uh, once I click on that, it gives me a rundown of all the folders that I have and I can go down and find this test folder, click on it, hit accept. Now, once I've done that, when I go to my test folder now, open up the subfolder, my Egyptian outfits right there. And so I have spent time organizing things to get them into the proper, uh, you know, proper order that I like. So for example, with um, my Genesis 8 female, uh, I used her a lot. So I have created a Genesis 8 female folder, and then I've created subfolders that have things like the characters I have, the clothing for her, um, expressions, hair, poses, etc. So if I want to mess with some characters, I can open up the character folder and then thanks to all of your generous purchases of, of comics, I have uh, you know spent some of my earnings to better my uh, props. And I have quite a few characters for Genesis 8. And so, for example, my very most favorite character is Milika. I just think she's just so beautiful. I kind of have a thing for her, honestly. Um, she is in this character folder from my Genesis 8. I could also create even more subfolders. So, for example, if I want to organize these characters in a certain way, I could do that by uh, right-clicking on this character folder, going to uh, uh, create a subcategory, and then if I click on that, I can name it and create another subfolder within the character folder. And so uh, this is just a simple explanation of how to organize. Um, let me show you one more trick that is really cool. Um, you can search for something. So let's say I need um, a hammer for my, uh, for my set. And, you know, I could look through all of my folders trying to find a hammer. But if I go up here and just type in hammer and then hit enter, it's going to search all of my props and it's going to come up with all the hammers that I have. And it's pretty broad. Sometimes uh, your search will be too broad and you need to narrow it. Sometimes more often it's too narrow and you've got to broaden your search. But you can see um, it gave me choices of some hammers. It also gave me some booms for microphones because I have uh, cameras and microphone props and uh, other hammers as well. So this can increase uh, your ability to find things more quickly. 
and uh, you know make things easier for you as you create your DAZ uh, world. So um, that kind of concludes my little brief um, tutorial. Now I have a question for all of you DAZ users. Um, and that is, this is my uh, primary computer that I'm using here. And so with my primary computer, I have made all of these subfolders, etc. I also have two other computers that render uh, my comics so I can keep pace with all the commissions that I get. And uh, I have not found a way to move my category subfolders over to those other computers. So if you have a technique or if you know a trick where I can create these subfolders and then move them into a different um, computer's DAS program, I would really like to hear how you did that. Uh, other than that, have a great uh, day and uh, I'll be posting more soon and I'll be creating some new tutorials in the future. So take care and we'll see you later.